Hello, господа! Today we're gonna talk about best Buddha accessories for different cases and playstyle. So the video will be super helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for that. As you know, Buddha is the best fruit for grinding and even for PvP. So a lot of players, including me, are using this wonderful fruit. But to get everything from that fruit, you have to know what accessory will be good for it. Let's start from tanky version of Buddha. That type will help you to live as long as possible. This will be very helpful in solo raids or hard boss fights. So, if you wanna be a big gas daddy, first thing first, you have to find an accessory called Li or Lay. That thing will give you 15% of health regeneration. So it means your health will be restored much faster. You You'll find the accessory in the cave on the Great Tree Island. There will be a boss, Kilo Admiral, which drops this item with around 15% chance. So kill him and get Lei. As you can see, with this accessory, my health restoring much faster, and I can take damage much longer than without it. As for me, Lei helped me in raids and in dog in fight. And you know how tough that guy is. Alright, the next accessory for tanky build will be a ghoul mask. This mask is awesome for this build because it has life leech passive ability. Let me explain what does this mean. Wearing this mask, your melee attacks will restore your health depending on your damage. The more damage you'll deal, the more health you will restore. For players it will be 10% of your damage, but for NPCs it will be only 2.5%, but that's enough. Also Ghoul Mask will give you speed boost for 35%, so in Buddha case it's important to move faster, as you know. This mask I'm also using so often in raids and can't die at all, but if you have Ghoul Race, oh guys, that's just Jackpot. I swear, the race will give you life leech and also the mask and just imagine how fast your HP will restore. Wonderful. Probably the best setup. You can find this gold mask in Kurt's ship in second C. It costs only 50 ectoplasm which you can find also in that ship. For more details you can watch my video about accessories. So using these two accessories will give you unbeatable build with Buddha. By the way guys, do you want Dark Blade for free? In my Twitter I started interesting giveaway for this sword. All you have to do is subscribe to my Twitter, send interesting screenshot from the game under the giveaway post and the best screenshot will win this sword. Link to my Twitter you'll find in description. Good luck. So the next build will be based on melee attacks. For this build you have to get Ghoul Race. If you don't know how, watch my guide how to get it. This race will give you increased damage for melee attacks and also movement speed at night. Also Life Leech as I've mentioned earlier. This race is OP guys for Buddha users who love grinding, indispensable. But we will add to that the pretty helmet. This accessory will increase your melee damage as well for 10% and also increase movement speed for 50% and melee resistance. You can get this accessory from Lunovin in the castle on the sea for killing 5 elite parties. So if you done it already, check him. Maybe you can get the helmet. Of course, Joe Shield accessory has more melee damage, 12%. But this is so hard to get and difference is not big. So I don't think that's a big deal. But if you have it, use it instead of pretty helmet. They have almost the same buffs. You can get the shield from Takamura for killing 5 players from player hunter quest. More about these accessories you will find in my video in description. So this build makes you unstoppable because of healing from attack and a lot of M1 damage. You will be very hard target for bosses. Ok boys and girls, let's talk about PvP potential of Buddha. Here's so simple. You will use swords because of high damage of course. I recommend to use Curse Dual Katana here because it's OP ok? So here's a build. Equip Curse Dual Katana. Next you have two choices. Pale Scarf which drops from Cake Prince or Dolkin. 
that's extremely hard bosses so without buddha and good party it will be super hard to defeat them but it worth it because pale scarf can be named as the best accessory in the game because of high sword and fruit damage increase 15 percent each and also buffs for your instant increased range and additional dodges best choice with that your sword damage especially if you've upgraded your sword oh guys you can kick players ass is so easy just with only one button of course buddha has north damage for players but it's not a big deal believe me also instead of pale scarf you can use a valkyrie helmet which also has 15 percent of sword damage but it drops from rip indra bows so i don't even know which accessory will be easier to get so it's up to you but in my opinion pale scarf will be better